Thanks. Uh, let's go to this developing story about a Brazoswood High School student police say was beaten by his classmates. Friends and family are turning to their faith and praying for healing for 16-year-old Cole Hagen, who's still in the hospital this morning. Our Brittany Jeffers is joining us live from the Texas Med Center with the latest on the case, including this young man's condition. Brittany, good morning. Good morning to you. Well, we know Cole is still in the hospital, remains in the ICU, but his brother tells us that he is making some small progress. That young man is now off the ventilator, and he says that he is starting to take some small steps with the nurse's help. Now, last night, as you mentioned, dozens of people gathered at a community park that's right across from Brazosport High School for a vigil. This was focused on healing and prayer. 16-year-old Hagen is a junior at that high school, and investigators say that on on Friday night, he was invited to a party, lured outside, and then viciously attacked by his classmates. Since then, three from the school have been charged in the attack. Now, last night, people at the gathering say that they are focused on lifting Cole up in prayer, but also focusing on the families of a murdered young father, a woman killed in a wreck, and a man who died in a motorcycle crash. So my brother is a believer in Christ, and he attends a, a small group most weeks on Wednesday nights. And um, I know his faith is strong, and I know this is paying off. And our, our family's faith is strong, and we believe that he's going to make a full recovery. So this was the way that we started it out, by having the community come together and pray, not just for the tragedies that happen for everybody. Now, the family tells us that there is still a reward for anyone who may be able to produce that video that they believe exists uh, of the attack and then turn it over to police. They tell us that that reward is now up to $25,000. Reporting live from the Med Center this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank you.